snags touch twitchy bum moment then that was like a battle you join us on the trent um ty's come up with a little idea he's chucked me a gopro and uh i'm gonna start recording a sort of bit of a vlog just keeping up to date with all the fishing that i do i try same as everyone, everyone's got busy lives. I try and get out once a week. Normally on a Tuesday, six or seven hours after work. So if I can sort of document that on all the places I go, I don't go anywhere fancy, club tickets. There's some great, great fish to be had still. I mean, this is, this is living proof. I'm just concentrating on the minute because there's a few snags in the middle of the river. I was telling Ty, uh, you have to wait for your bites on here and this one literally, <laughs> I've just put the rod in the rest and it dropped straight back. It's a stretch of river that's notoriously better in the dark. I mean, this stretch now is actually the they've stopped night fishing on it. Further upstream, they're still allowed to night fish. But the barb will still live here, so you just have to find a way of sort of how they're willing to feed. And uh, just scaling it down really, being a bit more, more sensible. You'll see in the video, um, I've got some GoPro footage from fishing here, not so long ago actually. It was a little bit warmer. I hope he's off. But I was, I had a few. Um, it's one of those areas I've always fancied. Uh, but the river was actually lower. It was a couple of weeks ago. We had some, some rain last Friday. And uh, the river looks spot on now. But I scaled it right down. You'll see in the video, I was only using a, a, my power quiver. Because there was less flow, I could get away with lighter feeders. And that lighter line just makes so much difference. I will say, it's important to do it safely. Um, if you do scale down, I always end up going barbless. Just the, these, are, these are, there's potential for massive fish along here. And the last thing you want to be doing is leaving hooks in fish. So if you ever do get a cut off, and you, I was only fishing for size 14s, the safe thing is fish are barbless and it, it falls out anyway. Beautiful. Another thing I like to touch on is now I'm just going to let that fish have a breather straight away. We lo loads of current here. I'll just put the rod down nice and safe. And that fish got a big deep landing net. I'm just going to hook that up on the net. There. Fish is facing upstream. I'm not going to take her out of the water. I'm just going to let her have a bit of a breather. She had a bit of a battle. Let her get her energy back and then uh, I can get stuff ready anyway. I've got tired today to do my pictures so I don't have, to, don't have to get my camera stuff ready. But yeah, wicked. Just make sure she's sitting upstream. She is full of beans now. So worth letting them have a rest up. This one's a beautiful fish for the Trent. I mean, we're a little bit further up. And with the water being so clear this summer, they're really tanned up nice. But yeah, come out to talk to, to you guys about this a little vlog that I'm planning on doing. And um, it'd be rude not to put the rods out as well. So that's wicked, great start. You never know, might have a couple more. There are some, there's some nice fish along here. But yeah, 
I'm well happy. Well happy with that anyway. I'm gonna quickly get her back. Right then, just put that fish back. Had a ray chuck, hopefully we'll have another one, but uh, as I, was, I said when I was playing the fish, uh, this is gonna be the first in a series of, like a little bit of a vlog covering my own personal fishing. I, um, like I say, I don't, I don't fish anywhere too spectacular. 90% of my fishing is sort of club tickets, as most people's fishing is, so semi-accessible to everyone. Today I am on the Burton Mutual waters on the River Trent. And uh, that brings me to my first session that I covered on the vlog um, about a month ago. I think it was this it was this stretch. This this actual swim produced me some nice fish after work. Uh, the, the water's cooled down a little bit, so I wasn't wasn't too sure if there was still gonna be here today, but we, we've had one, so that's that's a right bonus. But yeah, I had uh, I had three nice barbel. Uh, just I think it was 12.7 was the biggest. The video will tell you, but yeah, take a look. Oh, that's nice day, hey? There we go. Without that weed, good night. Let him have a play. Right till he turns. Ten pound barbel line. Uh, 23 hook link and a 14 grappler single pellet just buying the bites at the minute lovely fishing to be honest should have done this ages ago I've got to come back and have a go on the float as well looks lovely for it Is I've just waded down to get it out of the weed and I didn't bring my net with me, schoolboy error. I'm just going to walk him back up to me now. Another nice fish. Not as big as the, the first one, I don't think, but well worth catching. I love barbel fishing. Come on. Good on that net. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mega, absolutely mega. The first thing I'll do. is just let it, there's lots of current here. As you see, I've got my platform there. I'm just gonna let the fish, I'm not gonna take it out of the water. I'm just gonna let her have a breather that net. See if I just show you guys that little 14 nestled there. It's worth scaling down. Single eight mil. Those grapplers once they're in they're fantastic hooks. 
I've just weighed out. Absolute good. Beautiful fish. Always worth dealing with them in the water. You seen that? Just cushioned it. There's water in the fast mat. Slow and clear. Keep the fish in really good nick. 12.6, a River Trent barbel. Lovely, lovely fish. I'm gonna quickly get her back. I don't want out the water too long, but I thought I'd just show you guys. What an absolute beauty. <laughs> Wicked and chuffy that. Right, I've been flicking a bit of baiting on this shrimp. I've just moved up, hopefully something's uh, something's been eating it. But um, yeah, that was uh, that was the last time I was here having uh, having those few barbel. And the next week I went out and back onto the Trent, and I was hoping to try and find some chub and barbel. Didn't really happen. Um, the river, we had some rain, and uh, it, it didn't come up anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to. Um, which turned into a sort of a, a roach. And, well, there's plenty of dice, but I was after the roach after after a little bit. And as what happens on any big river, you get roach and dice feeding, the pike turn up. And uh, yeah, I, I started getting plagued by pike. I had one in and uh, the, the bigger pike let go just on the edge of the net. But yeah, um, great fun float fishing. Like I've actually landed some nice pike doing that in the past. Just gone really steady. Not panicked when a fish is grabbed. Unfortunately, you sacrifice the fish you're playing, as you see in the video, but yeah, all good sport. Not quite what I was after when I was running the float through. Hello, Mr. Pike. And a little day, son. And this little chappy thought it was his dinner. Another intruder. Had a great evening fishing for dice and roach. Was hoping to hook a barbel or two, but they just haven't turned up. And as always, the biggest roach of the day has just been snaffled by this pike. Always the way on these bigger rivers, you get like a, a big shoal of bits feeding and these these pipe turn up. Ah I got me roaching. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right at the last second, he let go. Oh, that's a shame. Massacred roach. Yeah, so uh, that bigger park let go, as you can see. I just, it was so clean. Like, I'd played him for ages, and like, right at the last minute, he spat the roach. That's the way it goes, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the, the next little session I had was an exploratory session on the River Dove, grayling fishing early doors for grayling really i was just trying to it was a day's fishing and trying to pin down where the grayling were living for when when the conditions are better basically and it nearly paid off well it did pay off um the the chub were very active i think i had i think it's been like 12 chub nothing massive um and a, a really nice grayling uh, unfortunately i not an accident with the grayling i was in the water 
and I hadn't, <laughs> hadn't put my GoPro on and I was considering where to show you guys. And as in true grayling form, did a little flip and somersault straight back into the river. So I did catch an Irish grayling, I just didn't get to show you guys. But yeah, plenty of chub, plenty of chub still, so good days fishing. Another rubber dub dub. Trying to get in all those grasses. Which oh, I've got me three metre landing at handle, isn't it? Yeah, man. A bit early. A bit early for grailing, but <laughs> at least the chub are obliging. I've had one big grailing, but uh, unfortunately. I dropped it back in before I could show you guys. Trying to do a bit of grayling fishing. Lots of chub keep interrupting. Not a bad thing. No monster. Yeah, so the uh, the final session of uh, last month was a, a really enjoyable session. To be fair, some friends come over from. Uh, from Europe, Tim, Tim Janssen and, and some of the other Coram guys. And uh, I didn't do a lot of fishing myself. They, they let me have a go at the end, so I went home with a barbel, but it was tough conditions, but watching the fish, oh, I thought I, the wind caught the line then, I didn't know if I had a thump. Um, tough conditions, but solid fishing, which made it great fun for, for the lads who've come over. Um, they've, they've all caught some really nice fish. And uh, Peter had a fish, hooked a fish on light tackle uh, that went upstream and managed to snag him. So, being the ever keen angler, and uh, I wanted to, I wanted to see him land it. I, uh, I stripped off to my boxes and slipped in um, to go release the fish. Um, Tim quickly was quicker quicker thought with them than me and and the others, and picked his phone up and recorded it. Have a quick look and me getting cold in the river. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, my mate is on a barbel. He is in the snag. But we have the crazy Harry Bidou with us. He's swimming in the trees to take the line out with the fish on. Good boy, Harry is. Well, you must get a bit of hairy out there, isn't it? And there the Padu is going. Backwards. Backwards. Get ready, get ready. Yep, yep. I have to help them now. Hey. On the one with the with Tim and the, the Dutch Coram lads. Even they are having some marble and loads of chub. Loads of chub. River's low and clear, so they're enjoying a bit of sight fishing at the minute. Tim's just uh, just stalked this one. Wicked. Nice fish, actually. They've proper got their suntan on at the minute. Lovely looking fish. Wicked. Uh, come in. Nico yeah, doing his thing. First Harry day on going. the dove. Harry, Harry going. Yeah, so that's, um, that's the last month of my angling covered, really. I try, like I say, I try and get out once a week and I'm going to keep keep my GoPro handy and, and try and record a few more. Hopefully you've liked it. Until next time.